Steam VR Error 108 is one of the most frustrating issues VR users encounter. This error prevents your VR headset from being detected by Steam VR, blocking access to virtual reality experiences. Error 108, also known as HMD not found or initialization failed, occurs when Steam VR fails to establish communication with your virtual reality headset during the startup process. Here's what the actual error looks like in Steam VR. The system displays error 108 with a message indicating that the headset is not detected and suggests checking connections. Error 108 can manifest in several ways. You might see a headset not found message, notice a red status indicator in Steam VR, find yourself unable to launch VR applications, or see that your headset display remains completely black despite being powered on. This error affects virtually all major VR headset brands. Whether you're using an Oculus or Meta headset, HTC Vive, Valve Index, or Windows Mixed Reality device, you could encounter Error 108. Understanding the root causes of Error 108 is crucial for effective troubleshooting. The error typically stems from five main categories of issues. First, driver conflicts between your headset manufacturer's software and SteamVR can prevent proper communication. Second, USB connectivity problems, including insufficient power or bandwidth, are extremely common. Third, Windows Mixed Reality Portal conflicts specifically affect WMR headsets. Fourth, outdated or corrupted Steam VR installations can cause detection failures. Finally, hardware detection failures in Windows Device Manager can prevent your system from recognizing the VR headset entirely. These issues often require systematic troubleshooting to resolve. Error 108 is a complex issue with multiple potential causes, but understanding these root causes is the first step towards successful troubleshooting. In the next section, we'll explore specific solutions for each of these problem areas. The first and most common solution for Error 108 is proper USB port management. Many VR headsets require stable USB 3.0 connections with adequate power delivery. Always use USB 3.0 ports for your VR headset connections. USB 2.0 ports lack the bandwidth and power delivery needed for stable VR operation. For headsets requiring multiple connections or experiencing power issues, use a powered USB hub. This ensures each device receives adequate power and bandwidth. The second critical step is ensuring all drivers are up to date. Outdated GPU drivers are a leading cause of VR initialization failures. Update your GPU drivers through NVIDIA GeForce Experience or AMD Radeon software. These updates often include VR-specific optimizations and bug fixes. Use driver update utilities to identify and update all outdated drivers on your system. This comprehensive approach ensures compatibility across all VR components. For Windows Mixed Reality headsets, proper configuration of the Mixed Reality Portal is essential. This Windows component manages WMR headset detection and initialization. Ensure the Mixed Reality Portal is properly configured and not conflicting with Steam VR. Sometimes disabling auto-launch can resolve initialization conflicts. If basic solutions don't work, advanced troubleshooting methods can resolve persistent Error 108 issues. These involve system-level configurations and Steam VR settings. Try running Steam VR as administrator, which can resolve permission-related detection issues. Also disable USB Selective Suspend in Windows Power Options to prevent USB devices from powering down unexpectedly. Different VR headsets require specific troubleshooting approaches. For Oculus and Meta headsets, the Oculus Debug tool provides detailed diagnostic information. For Oculus headsets, use the Debug tool to restart the Oculus service and check sensor connectivity. Verify that the Oculus service is running in Windows services. For HTC Vive headsets, ensure base stations are properly positioned and the Lighthouse tracking system is functional. Check that base stations are detected and synchronized. For Valve Index headsets, monitor for overheating issues and verify DisplayPort connection integrity. Ensure adequate power supply to base stations and check cable connections. Prevention is key to avoiding future Error 108 occurrences. Regular maintenance and proper hardware choices can significantly reduce VR connectivity issues. Maintain a regular schedule of driver updates, use high-quality USB cables and hubs, and avoid installing multiple VR software platforms simultaneously to prevent conflicts. Following these systematic troubleshooting steps resolves Error 108 in over 90% of cases. Start with USB and driver issues, 
then progress to more advanced solutions as needed.